Hello YouTube, my name is Sebastian and welcome to a new tutorial here on my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make really super simple easy tile collisions. So I've written all the code already and I'm going to explain it to you because I thought it would be boring for you to watch me type the code. Um, so instead I'm going to go through it bit by bit and explain how to use it and what it does exactly. So this is the code. This is a variable we don't need, never mind that. Okay, but this is the whole code. This is all the code that goes in to making tile collisions. And before we go through it, I'll just show you how it works and that it actually works. So right here, this is our collision checking. This is very basic collision checking where I have the script called tile meeting, which is this one right here. and. I'm just using tile meeting instead of the function place meeting and the only difference between the functions is that in the script that we've made you just gotta enter the name like this like a string for whatever room that the tiles are on so for this instance we have the tiles underscore one that's the tile layer where our tiles are at so you can add some more in here and uh, let's just do like that so these are the tiles that we're going to check for the collision with this uh, player, the red one right here. And they are, as I said, on the layer called tiles underscore one, which is why we put that in here in a string. So now that's how you use the function. It takes those three arguments, the X position you want to check for, the Y position you want to check for, and the, uh, the tile layer. So let's just quickly go ahead and run it here and you can see that it works totally fine. So here we are, I've just drawn the bounding box around the player so you can see it. And as you can see, I cannot move inside of these guys at all. It is foolproof, basically. The only downside that there is to this is that if your sprites are actually bigger than the tile set, you might have some problems but I'm gonna get into that at the very end of the video but now let's get to the fun part this script which will be in the description is the whole meat of it so it takes as I said three arguments the X position the Y position you want to check for and the tile map so what this does first of all we of course have our arguments stored in the variables but first of all what this script is actually doing is it is taking our player or whatever object you want to check for moving it to the position you want to check for checking if there's a tile then moving it back and then returning whether or not there were a tile there so that's basically how it moves or how it works it moves the object checks for a tile moves the object back and returns whenever whatever there were a tile or not so first of all we're going to save the current position that we have before we move the object so that we can move it back to our stored position that's what this right here does so we're going to save our x and our x in this xp variable for x position and our y in the y position variable so now that we have sorted or saved the uh, current position we're going to move to the position that we want to check for which is done right here so we're going to set the x equal to the x that we want to check for this one and the y equal to the y that we want to check for which is the other one we input right here the yy then we want to check for a collision there and we do that using these four lines right here so this is actually one variable just called meeting and that will check for a collision on all four corners of the uh, of the uh, collision mask so the right and the left top and the bottom and the uh, left and right too so all four corners and how this do, how it works is it's going to you, it's going to use this function tile map get at pixel that takes a tile map that you put in which is the one that we have given it right here so it's going to check this for this tile map at a certain pixel and return true whether or not there were actually were a tile there and the way we determine this is first of all this one this is the right top corner so we are checking our b box right that is the right side of our binary box and at the top so the right top that will be the right top corner right here and the same with the next one 
that's going to be the right bottom corner so we're going to check first right top then right bottom then we're going to check the left top and then the left bottom and I'm using the all signs right here um, because all of them if any one of these return true then we have hit a collision so it's actually just let's just I can just show you it's just very basic it's right you could I just sorted it out so it's not in such a long line line but originally this would just be one big line where all of them would just be like after each other but I just put them like this just to make them a bit neater and easier to uh, to see what's going on here so now that we checked for collision and stored that in the meeting variable so this one the meeting will be true or false if any of these were true the meeting will be true then we're gonna move our player back or the object back to the current position that we saved before setting the X equals to the X position and the Y equal to the Y position and then we're gonna return the meeting variable which will as I said just be true or false and that will then again return here so if we are move or play uh, meeting a tile then this will return true and the if statement will know this is true and to proceed into the no, the next part of the if statement if we have hit a tile so those are actually the basics it's very simple I'm gonna as I said leave the whole script down in the description so you can just if you want you can just copy it you can study it whatever um, but there's one flaw with this script and it is we're only checking the corners we're not checking the whole like side and top of the box of the bounding box like a normal place meeting function would do so what we this can give some problems so let's just this is a player I'll show you right here so if we take this player and scale it up to a new size oh we should probably uh, fill it out there we go so now he's double as big as you can see he's bigger than the tile sets so what will happen is we're only checking the four corners for a collision which means this so as you can see we can still collide as long as it's the corner but if we hit at the middle here we can go through it which is not very nice and we can actually get stuck on the inside of this and that's not what we want so if you have a game where your sprites are bigger like this you might want to add more points to them more points that we're going to check for I'm going to I'm going to show you quickly how you can add at least the middle points also and it is quite simple all you're going to do is um, first of all let's have the tile map get a pixel and we want to use the tile map so we want to check for tile map the X position that will be the B box right because right now we're going to check at the like the right side and the middle right and then we are going to check for the middle of the sprite so that will be our B box top plus our sprite height divided by two there we go so this will check for the right and the middle so the B box top so the top plus half the sprite height that'll be right in the middle of the height so this will be the right middle point that we're gonna check for we're gonna copy this and we're gonna do it with B box left two. So now we're checking the left point then we are going to do the same thing again right here but just with the uh, with the Y position so here the X will be our B box left plus sprite width divided by 2 and the B box top then we are going to have the very same but instead of B box top we want B box bottom so these two here will check the middle top and mid middle bottom and now we should no longer have that problem where we can move through it so as you can see can no longer move through it actually I can't even get through here oh we've typed in something wrong because something is going completely wrong here typed in something wrong sprite width left yeah 
Well, that should work. What have we done wrong? I don't know. Let's, um, let's check. Let's try and comment out all these here and see if it works just with the uh, the right and the left one. No, there's something wrong in the right and the left one. Oh. What the hell have I done here? Okay, so this one should be top and this one should be left. There we go. So that should be it. Oh. There we go. Let's try again. I just switched around the variables so they didn't quite fit. So now we can move through here and we cannot move into this object. So it all works. And one thing to remember of course, if you make him even bigger, the uh, collisions that I want to check for, you have to add even more points down the side of the sprite. And the more points you add like this, the tougher the uh, computer is going to have running this script. So be careful with it. That's all I'm gonna can can really say. Um, a solution might be to use larger tile maps, tile sprites or whatever. That could work. Um, if you have really large enemies or something like that. But that this is the basics of it. I'm gonna leave the uh, the uh, what. The, the previous version down the description where it's only with uh, the corners checking and if you want to know how you can optimize this script even further because right now we just it's not very optimized it is a bit optimized but it can be even better and I've done that and I'm gonna go in another video I'm gonna explain how I'm, I have optimized this even further which makes it a bit more advanced maybe to look at but this is a really simple one you can use it it works fine there's no problem with it at all so I really hope that this gave you something that you can use and uh, yeah have a nice day and subscribe and all that good stuff so yeah see you later goodbye